Around 50 meters of road connects the Holiday Inn Express to Glendale Avenue within a complex of hotels across the street from the Niagara Outlet Mall. But the town of Niagara on the Lake says this road and part of the parking lot was paved across protected wetland and without permission. As it was being built out, one of the inspectors uh, noticed some moving of, of topsoil and bushes and it is the town that reported that to the Niagara Peninsula Conservation Authority in 2017 and the region. The conservation area behind me here is part of Six Mile Creek and it used to span across this entire road that connects the hotels. It doesn't matter how small or how large it is. We have to think very carefully if we're going to destroy that natural heritage for development. Councillor Sandra O'Connor says Vrancourt had approval to build the hotel, but the road connecting it to Glendale Avenue was in step two, which hadn't yet been approved. That was not uh, evaluated or approved yet, but they went ahead and did it. And uh, we didn't know that it was done. The road was paved back in 2017, and the town has been at a standstill waiting for more information since. It is unfortunate that, they, that it was done. And, uh, and it's unfortunate that it's taken so long for some sort of uh, recovery. Francoeur applied this year for the town to rezone and allow the road to stay. But if rezoning is denied, the company will have to tear up the road and replant some of the wetlands it removed. Mario Frankovic from Francoeur says the road was part of the second plan and was paved to give first responders better access to the building in case of emergency. This was uh, I'm a matter that was not done with malice. It was uh, done within the context of understanding the secondary plan and health and safety. And, and we will respect uh, whatever council's view is going to be and will act appropriately. Council will meet again next week, but for now, they're waiting for a report from the town about the possibility of rezoning. Emily Taylor, CHCH News, Niagara.